Hello everyone, welcome back to Forever Freaky Funko. My name is Anthony and today we are going to be talking about, for me, very anticipated movie, Mary Poppins Returns, coming out in December. So, I'm excited about this movie, to be honest with you. Um, I grew up a huge Mary Poppins fan and um, I'm excited to get to these Funko Pops. So, I'm not sure how many of you out there like Mary Poppins or into Mary Poppins, but I've been a fan forever. Um, the original movie I've seen at least ten times. Um, I think Emily Blunt is going to do a phenomenal job as Mary Poppins. And this one coming out, I believe it's the 19th, right before Christmas of December. So, I'm excited. We have five Funko Pops, um, four different versions of Mary Poppins, one Hot Topic exclusive... In, in the four versions. Then we got Jack, who's one of the pops. Then we have a two-pack vinyl and one rock candy. So there's a lot of stuff to look at. So I'm going to put them all up on one screen, and we can talk about them and look at them all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up now. And there they are. So take it in. <laughs> Hey, listen, man. I, I love Mary Poppins. What can I say? She's awesome. And I love, love that they're doing... Um, this is called Mary Poppins Return. So it's I, I just love it. And Emily Blunt is a really good actress. I really like her a lot. So let's get into the Funko Pop. So we have Mary Poppins with a kite. That is number 468. And um, she's holding her bag there in a kite, which is really cool. I really like this one a lot. Um, I love the hat. As you can see, the hat is in almost every version of Mary Poppins, um, which is pretty cool. So hopefully she's wearing the hat throughout the movie. Um, that version of her looks really cool. Then you got the Hot Topic exclusive, and this is Mary Poppins with an umbrella. Now, I know it's hard to see in the picture, but with her right hand, you can see her, her glove there um, against her dress. And you can see she's holding, it's very hard to tell, but she is holding a closed umbrella. And she has that um, up against her chest, holding it there. Um, again, it might be a little hard to see, but she is holding an umbrella there. That is the Hot Topic exclusive. And that one looks really cool, too. Um, and I love her shoes. Now, her shoes and the hat stay the same. Uh, we don't get to see that there in the dress. But on these three, the shoes and the hat are the same, which are really cool. So the next one is called um, Mary Poppins with a bag. It almost looks like she's knitting. So I'm not sure if she's actually, that's a bag that she's knitted or it's just a bag. But it kind of looks like a bag that's knitted. But I guess we'll find out in the movies. Um, or or when I get the Funko Pop in my hand, I can probably tell you a, a little bit more about it. But um, again, an, another, another great version of Mary Poppins. Now you, you might be thinking, well, it's the same person. It's the same look. It's the same pose. Uh, for the most part, it's the same hat, the same shoes, the same face, the same hair. I mean, it's really the same one over and over again, but, and so yes, I can, I can definitely see why, why somebody might be like, eh, you know, they could, they could have done something more creative with her, but, um, but to be honest with you, I mean, she's wearing a different outfit in each one, and although the dresses look like they might be the same, um, but, uh, she's wearing a different outfit, and I just, I don't know, it's, Look, man, it's Mary Poppins. I like it. I like what I like. So, um, yeah. But it is the same pose for the. I mean, I'm not talking about her hands. I'm just talking about her, her from the waist, except for her arms. Pretty much from the waist down. I mean, the head's the same on all three. Exactly the same mold. Exactly the same hairstyle. Nothing's changed there. But she is doing different things in each one, so it makes it a little bit unique there. Um, and then this one, of course, is huge. I mean, it's big time difference here. And this is her uh, Mary Poppins uh, at the music hall. And this is the one where she's wearing the pink uh, colored dress there. And um, I'm not sure what kind of bird uh, thing she's wearing on her head. But I think she looks great. I'm very interested in what this music hall thing is that she goes to. Obviously some important because she's dressed um, very... Oh, well, she's always dressed nice. But she's dressed... Uh, um, somewhat elegantly. I mean, I'm not sure what 
<laughs> it's <laughs> I'm confused with the birds on her head, but um, but uh, I I still think it looks great. I just don't know because I haven't seen the movie, so I'm not sure. You know, we have to wait and see. But uh, I love the way it looks, though I really do. And um, you know, when you're a big fan of of a certain movie or something, um, it's kind of like one of those things. For me, Funko can't do anything wrong. You know in this because it's Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is awesome. Matter of fact, every time we go to Disney World, she's one of my one of the characters that I love getting a picture with the most. And and which is crazy because she actually has the the smallest like line. Like there's not even she just like appears somewhere uh for like 30 minutes and you have to run over there and get a picture. She's not like advertised anywhere, you know that she's going to come out during a certain time. So um to find Mary Poppins in Magic Kingdom, and that's where she's at, can be very tricky. Um, and I seem to find her quite often, <laughs> but I am looking for her as well. So, uh, but it's really cool. So then we get into Jack, um, and and here the Funko Pop we're calling him Jack the Lamp Lighter. So obviously he's got the torch there to light the lamp, and um, love the way he looks. I love the five o'clock shadow. Uh, he just really looks great. Uh, then we get to the vinyl two pack. So this one's really cool because Jack has I don't know what kind of look that is on his face. Um, he he almost looks like he got caught doing something, and it looks like Mary is looking at him like um, I caught you, and he's kind of giving that goofball look. I'm not sure. I think when I when we all. But, you know, speaking for myself, when I see the movie, hopefully I can understand this scene from the movie. I'm hoping this is an actual scene where she catches him doing something. I don't know what it is or maybe, I, I don't know. Uh, but he definitely looks guilty of something and she definitely looks like she caught him doing something. Or maybe she's just flirting with him and he's smiling. I don't know. But it's an interesting vinyl. But, um, yeah, I just love the, I love the look on his face is great and then of course you know she's she kind of has a smirk on her face she's not really smiling it's kind of half a smile so it's like a smirk um but but the way they pose the way Funko poses these two where she's on the left and she's obviously looking directly at him in the box I think that's great advertisement there I think that's great great advertisement you know um really love that and then of course we got uh Mary Poppins there as a rock candy version holding a bag um and I'm not sure what's in her right hand there, but she is holding a bag in her left hand. It's a very similar bag to the Funko Pop bag. Um, actually, it looks very similar. It probably is the same bag, actually. It looks actually it's the same bag. So I think we can say that it's not a crochet bag. It's an actual just bag that she's using. And then I'm not sure. It looks like a flashlight, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know what's in her right hand there. But I think she looks great. Um, and it's Mary Poppins. What's not to love about Mary Poppins? So that wraps up uh, the five Funko Pops, the one vinyl, and the one rock candy. I do want to say Mary Poppins drops today. And I was lucky enough to get one of the Mary Poppins that came out. So that's Mary Poppins with a kite. So I actually have one. Um, Hot Topic did not get theirs today. And I happened to stop by... Um, Think Geek and the awesome manager that works there had a shipment come in while I was in the store. She was in the back and they have cameras and everything. So she saw me in the store. I didn't even know she was she was at the store because she, she works a lot in the back with the inventory and all that. And she ran out just to hand me this. I wasn't even asking for it, but she just knew that I would that I would love Mary Poppins and she handed it to me. I'm like, oh my God, did you know this drops today? And she's like, yeah, we just got them. I thought we weren't going to get them. And I'm like, oh, thank God, because Hot Topic didn't get any of them. So hopefully Hot Topic gets them over the next couple days. But uh, especially because they have an exclusive, right? But this is Mary Poppins with a kite. Um, what I'm going to do, I don't want to make a long video, but I do want to take this one. I'm going to take it out just so you can see the kite. But I'm, I'm not going to actually, well, can I take her out? So she, she's not coming out. She's not coming out easily. So let me try one other way. Because I like to open them on the bottom. If I'm going to open them, I don't like to open them on the top. But 
Um, sometimes when you open them up on the top, that's how they tear a little bit. And I don't want to tear it. So I'm gonna, just going to try to show you the kite from an angle. I mean, you can, you've can you seen the picture and you see the bird there on her hat that looks cool. I really wanted to get, get, get this one out with the kite because it's hard to see the kite in there. But um, taking it out through the bottom is kind of difficult. She's not really wanting to come out without a fight. Let me see. There we go. Almost got her. All right, cool. I got her. So, there she is. Looks really cool. How can you not love this? The bird in her hat. Awesome. And then the kite there. Yeah, Mary Poppins is amazing. <laughs> so, that's what she looks like behind. A lot of detail. I mean, look at that hair. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes when you don't, like me as a collector, if you don't take them out of the box, you really miss some of this great detail. I mean, they, I mean, look at that. That hair is so detailed on the mold that they used. I mean, they did a really great job. And then the detail, just look at the details in the feathers too on the hat. I mean, Funko doesn't play around. They really do put good detail in this stuff. And even the handbag is detailed very nice. See if I can get a good shot of that. I'm trying to find out the good angle on that one. But, yeah, they do a great job. Funko really does. And, and sometimes when you keep them in the box, you really don't... I'm letting everything... There we go. Sometimes when you keep them in the box, you really don't get the full you know, effect of of how awesome Funko is. So, um, yeah, because you can see the details there. So, um, this has nothing to do with Mary Poppins, but I want to do a giveaway. So, hopefully you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video because I got a special giveaway that is... I hope you guys are going to like it. So, um, this is another set. It's not the same set that, um, that another subscriber won. This is a whole other set. So, I have... A Joker Pez, a Batman Pez, and this is all for one subscriber, a Chase Batman Pez. That's right. I'm giving away a Chase of Batman, regular version of Batman, and the Joker. All three Pez dispensers to one lucky subscriber including a chase a chase pez okay a chase guys all right so i'm going to be giving this out to one lucky subscriber I'm letting the everything focus back in so all you have to do is hashtag chase that's it hashtag chase and you are entered to win the three pack that I will mail anywhere in the world to you as long as you are a subscriber and you hashtag chase um, and people are going to be like what's this hashtag chase stuff if they're not watching the whole video probably freak some people out when they're looking at the comments but <laughs> hashtag chase and um, you will be entered to win I'm going to do a random comment picker on Saturday so uh, it is Thursday night, so Friday and Saturday, so we're looking at the 3rd, November the 3rd. I'm going to be giving away all three to one lucky subscriber, and guys, the Chase, I mean, that's sorry, the Joker, the Chase, that's not easy to find, okay? It's not easy to find, so I'm giving away all three of them to one subscriber, hashtag Chase to enter. The drawing will be on Saturday, and I will mail these bad boys out on Monday. So, thanks for watching the video. Please be kind to one another. I got more content coming. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.